Hi guys and welcome back to the Real Huggable Panda. Or if you're new to the channel then welcome. Today we're in Dreams Early Access and we're going to be making a short tutorial on how to make a two-way teleporter. Now before we start this tutorial I do apologise if you can hear weird sounds in the background. I do have little kittens running around my bedroom and they are absolutely wild. They are hyperactive as hell. So hopefully they don't interrupt the tutorial but let's get on with it. So what you'll need for this tutorial is you will need a trigger zone, an AND gate, a timeline in the background, you'll also need a camera, you'll also need a switch, and you will also need a teleporter. Now the camera and the switch are optional, it depends how you want to set this up, but this is the way that we find out how to do it for our own level. So this is a trigger zone, it's self-explanatory. What you need to do is you need to set it up so when your puppet walks into it, it will then power up and trigger the input. Because the AND gate has two inputs for one output, it needs two inputs. So then we're gonna go over to this guy, get the X button and stick it into there. We also need to put this output into this timeline. Now it's very important that you put the timeline on play once, otherwise it won't play. Sustain will not work. Once that's primed and ready to go, you can move up to the switch. This needs to go to the teleporter. And it also needs to go to the tag, which you put in the opposite doorway to what you're teleporting from. So if you're going from point A to point B, the teleporter is point A, the tag is point B. So now all you need to do is you need to wire it up on the other side exactly how you did it the first time. The output from the switch going from the switch to the teleporter and then back to the tag. So now this should be ready to go. Oh, it's very important that you don't forget to put the tag into the second input. So now this should be ready to go. We'll possess the puppet and we'll give it a test. Hooray! As you can see that it is worked. I'm going to try it from the other direction. Success! So that is how you make the two-way teleporter. What I'll do now is I'll just finish it off with an uh, effect of some kind. So when you teleport, maybe a flash can happen or something. So what we'll do is we'll put a sort of like explosion of flex so when you teleport an explosion of flex will happen what we'll do is we'll get a fleck a straight line and we will edit it with all directions so this is going to be a mighty teleport explosion We'll make it the same colour as what the energy is in the portal, so it looks the same. But with a mighty explosion. You don't want it to loop, you just want it to be one item so once the timeline ends pull up the timeline once the timeline ends put it onto the rewind feature at the bottom this will restart the animation and we want it to be off we will get a keyframe. Once you teleport, the keyframe will turn on the effect. Oh, 
Once more to finish off the effect, we'll go into the sound options. We will look for a sound effect. We will type in a zap. So this one sounds like the kind of thing we need at the moment. We'll just put that there, turn the volume up, should be ready to go. Just trim this timeline down so it's not too long. So when we teleport, there we go. The effect is complete and you obviously you want to copy that on the other side. So this is how you make a two-way teleporter. I hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like. And why not consider subscribing to the channel? We do have a lot of content coming out very soon. Doctor Who and PlayStation Home related. And we have some other stuff coming up too with the Call of Duty beta being out as well. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.